That's the one that stands out because it was really, I thought, where he hit his stride. I mean, that was just, uh, it was fireworks. I mean, it was like a launch. It was like, you know, you know, it was like nothing. It was just, he was on his, you know, a, 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 comics have this kind of, uh, you know, they, they work to the point and they're figuring it out and then they, and, and then they get better and better and then they kind of have that, uh, that moment where they're, that when they really hit their stride, he had hit his stride then, which went for quite a while, but that really recorded the stride was that one, and it was just, uh, and, you, and people said, well, what do you remember? But, you know, what do you remember of Robin's act? You, re you don't remember Robin's act, you just remember that you were there. I mean, you watched it and you were, but you, how do you remember something where it's like there's 45,000 things just happened? And the thing with him in the audience was, uh, there's, he really kind of keyed into the audience in terms of, so if, uh, you know, if, if he did something, I mean, he had an arc to what he was doing, but, you know, if something occurred, you know, I think what I saw was probably different what people saw the day before I went and the day after I went, you know, in one fashion or another. I would say probably, my guess would be 10 to 20 percent. There are comics who go on stage, and they're good, uh, and they do their stuff, and it's, and da 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 and they hit the punchline, you know, set up, set up, set up, uh, punchline, set up, tension, release, all of that, and, it, and that goes along, and, and they make, and, they, and it, there are times when the audience, they're not getting the reaction, I've, I've sat in clubs for a thousand, when I, when I initially broke in and watched comics, and I, I all sorts of comics work, and the ones who work in that fashion, there are comics who don't really, who act as if the audience isn't present. So there's, there's no bounce off of what the audience is doing. Robin's bounce was what, if the audience reacted A, I think Robin would go, oh, we can go to B. If the audience reacted C, he went, oh, we have to go back to B. Or we can go on to D. So he, it, they were the instigator of, of um, in part, they were part of whatever was going on in his head, there was also whatever was going on outside. You know, it was like, I, I know you're there, I, am give, I know you're present. And a lot of com there's a number of comics that work without any sense of the audience really being present, that you're supposed to laugh here, and if you didn't laugh, fuck you. And, uh, and I kind of, you know, I, I, you know, consciously or unconsciously from him and others kind of got that and uh, that kind of, you know, that there's a, that that fourth wall really doesn't exist in comedy for me, and it didn't exist for Robin, and it d doesn't exist for a number of people. So if something happens and I don't like it, you know, what I, what I learned from Robin is you just deal with the audience in a sense. I mean, he, he was, he was, you know, more of the guy who could actually take it and shape it into something. I'm the one who turns around and go, well, fuck you for not laughing. <laughs>